Hello, I'm Scott Schmidtgall, and I'm your medium wheel loader product application specialist for Caterpillar. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about our payload scales. I'm going to focus on giving you an introductory look at how these payload scales um, are laid out in the display and what it takes to make them function. So once you get on your machine, this is the standard uh, machine display and uh, you can see some general machine information. If you want to get in to activate your payload scale, it's simply uh, pressing this truck bed on the left hand side. And right now you can see that payload scale is actually in the disabled mode. You can press the button to activate it. Now your payload control system is on. And on that display, you can see how it's laid out. On the right hand side is that bucket. On the left hand side is your hauling unit or basically where you're delivering that material to, because this is your cumulative weights. Uh, so as you weigh that material out in your bucket, it will show up due to our auto calculator function. And uh, then if you go dump it, that's the weight that would be uh, transferred to that truck. And you can see how many passes are actually in that truck as well. In the center is your truck ID and material ID select buttons. I would suggest not using those unless you're actually trying to track data. Most people have, have been uh, finding uh, a lot of success in just using the scale to prevent over or underloading your trucks. But certainly if you want to track some data like what material type or what trucks you've been loading we do have that capability to do that right there and that's both then retrievable on board as well as off board okay, i'm going to show you how where those payload settings are at you go ahead into this uh, payload settings menu right up in the top right corner and uh, you can see you've got your set weigh range tip off feature payload display mode weight units as well as list management right there in that one uh, payload settings menu so as I review this, the set weigh range shows you where you're at in your range of travel with your linkage arm. So as you lift up through there, you can see that white bar tracking and you can see then and identify exactly where of that where is that start of what range set and what is that span and you can visually then see where does that start and stop. And this area is critical to pass through at a nice even uh, pace, lifting uh, linkage pace. The next thing I'd like to show you is our tip-off um, settings. From the factory, these come with tip-off disabled. We consider tip-off an advanced feature. If you would like to use it, I'd suggest that you would actually set it as auto to stockpile because why carry more material to your target that you don't need because you just have to return to the end and dump that material back to the uh, original spot if you've got leftover material. So we like to suggest auto tip to stockpile. You could also then tip to truck we do have that feature as well uh, but we'll show you a little bit more about that as we move forward so anytime you get on a, on a loader uh, it's always good to lo uh, warm that loader up get it ready to work and then before you go to work or before you're track uh, wanting to use the scale you would simply make sure that that bucket is clean and empty rack it back lift it up through the weigh range and that signifies that you went through the weigh range there's your green box plus press this bucket zero button and you will get a message saying zero accepted new zero point set that is telling the system that you have now teared that system out it's ready to work and uh, you can just basically get to moving some production from